in this class we will talk about the application of LCM as applied to circular races we will understand uh, this concept with the help of this example so let's first read this example a b and c start a race around a circle track of length 100 meter with the speeds of 5 meter per second 10 meter per second and 4 meter per second respectively so after how much time they will meet at the starting point so this is a case of a circular race circular race in which a b and c are involved this is a circular track of length 100 meter okay so suppose this is the starting point so from this starting point a b and c start the race okay so uh, before solving this uh, problem this question and before knowing how this question is uh, related to LCM we will first try to find out the time in which a B and C individually complete one round so time to complete one round one round of the circle for a will be equal to length of the track that is 100 meter divided by speed of a which is 5 meter per second so that is 20 second time to complete one round for b is equal to length of the track again 100 meter divided by speed of b that is 10 so that is 10 second time to complete one round for c will be equal to length of the track 100 divided by speed of c that is 4 meter per second that is equal to 25 second so a will complete uh, one round in 20 second b will complete one round in 10 second and c will complete one round in 25 second so since the question is after how much time they will meet at the starting point it means that whenever they meet a will be completing some full round b will be b will also be completing some full round and c will also be completing full round and we know that since a is completing one full round in 20 seconds so a will be completing uh, whenever they meet a would have completed uh, some multiples of 20 second that means since a is completing one round in 20 second so in multiple of 20 second after multiple of 20 seconds a will be at the starting point and at the same time b after completing some full round that is at the multiple of 10 second b at the same starting point and the same will be the case of c so it means basically we are trying to find out that the multiple of 20 second multiple of 10 second and in the multiple of 25 second which is the least and the common multiple that's why the concept of LCM is applied here so to know the time at which they will meet at the starting point the time at which they will meet the starting point can be calculated with the help of LCM of 20, 10 and 25. So what is the LCM of 20, 10 and 25? 
the LCM we can get by uh, getting the multiple of 25 so 25 to the 50 that is not with the 20 and 10 75 is also not so 100 100 second so 100 second comes out to be the multiple of 20 10 and 25 second so that means that after 100 seconds they will be meeting at the starting point for the very first time so time at which they will meet at the starting point for the very first time is 100 seconds after the race has started so in case they want to meet uh, at the starting point again they can meet at the multiples of 100 seconds so we can say that after 100 second they will meet they will meet at the starting point the starting point for the first time for the first time and their subsequent meeting at the starting point and subsequent meeting at the starting point will be multiple of 100 second will be after the multiple of 100 second that means uh, after the first time they will meet after 200 second 300 second and so on so in this way this problem is solved we will see more example in the next class